So welcome to our review on buckyballs and nanotubes. What we did in our previous video was we had a look through the actual structures and properties of two other allotropes of carbon, diamond and graphite. So buckyballs are also carbon allotropes. Key thing to remember about these buckyballs is they've got 60 carbon atoms. So they've got that little formula there, C60. Now you can see from the diagram in the middle that those 60 carbon atoms are arranged as a ball, as the name suggests. And the key thing we need to remember there is that it's a hollow ball, so it's kind of like a cage. Now it's actually a big enough cage to allow us to put things like atoms and drugs inside the actual fullerene cage itself. So that means that we can use it as a drug delivery system. Now a common question you're going to be asked about these different allotropes of carbon is they will give you those three different structures and ask you to identify one of them. So just remember, diamond is a triangle, graphite the stacks of layers, and then your buckyball is the ball shape. One thing we can actually do with these fullerenes is to join them together to make a structure called a nanotube. Now what's important about these is that they're the strongest and stiffest materials that have been discovered to date. Now what we actually use them for at the moment is as a reinforcing material inside tennis rackets. And that's one of those common questions that comes up on your exam asking about the use of nanotubes. Reinforcing tennis rackets is the answer. What we may be able to do in time is use these nanotubes to conduct electricity in circuits. Now the reason we can do this is because they can act as what's called a semiconductor or they can just conduct electricity like tiny little wires. So based on the size of these nanotubes, the size of our electrical circuits can also get much smaller. Last thing to remember then is that when we're talking about these nanotubes, another potential use for them is as a catalyst. So what we actually find is that they've got an absolutely massive surface area when we compare it to their volume. So this makes them a really good catalyst when we attach that catalyst substance like iron onto the outer surface.